Today we're going to look at uh, modeling an antenna feed line and an, an antenna tuning unit using EasyNeck and SimSmith. So this is uh, EasyNeck version 6.0. We're going to look at our, we're going to design our antenna to begin with, which is made of wire segments. So we have two wires, each 175 107.5 feet long with a total of 215 feet and the legs are 22 feet above the ground. The center is 55 feet above the ground. We're going to take a look at the antenna to make sure of our design and it does look good. And it's an inverted V format. So now we're going to do an antenna sweep and uh, we're going to sweep from 1.8 to 7.3 megahertz which will give us the feed point impedance for that frequency range of this antenna. Then that file will be used. This is the SWR on 600 ohm ladder line. And then we're going to execute EasyNeck, I'm sorry, SimSmith. And uh, that would be right here. And now we have SimSmith and um, we're going to um, going to load the uh, file developed by um, EasyNeck. Let's see here. Okay, so it'd be lastz.txt. Be that one there. Now the EasyNeck is, I'm sorry, SimSmith is uh, set up for 7.2 megahertz and is telling us from easy neck that we have a feed point impedance of the antenna 243 ohms with a reactance of uh, plus j 730 ohms and over here on the smith chart remember that we have a horizontal line here which represents resistance that's the 50 ohm point this is infinite Impede resistance on this end and zero ohms on this end. So there's 10 ohms, 25 ohms, 50, 100 ohms, 250, and so on. Th this region down here represents the capacitive reactance of uh, the impedance, and this section up here, half of the circle, the the chart represents inductive reactance. So our Antenna feed point is represented by this point right here, which is, it would be these two values, It'd be right here. This is the feed line itself, which is represented by that portion of the plot. This portion over here is represented by the antenna tuning unit. And then this part right here is represented by the capacitor of the antenna tuning unit. So I'm sorry, this would be the inductors. So over here we've got the load, which is the antenna. We have the balanced 600 ohm feed line. The inductors of the uh, antenna tuning unit and the capacitor that goes across them. So we're going to, we, the object is to get this impedance point here, which would be the feed point of the coax to the ATU. We want that up at 50 ohms non-reactive for a low SWR. So we have low SWR on the coaxial cable part of our feed line. So if we click on the inductance, we can use the up-down arrows, and we can change change the value of the inductance, and we can see how that affects the Smith chart. Now that's not getting us very far, so we'll go ahead and change the capacitance. As we increase it, you see that that's, that's not helping us much either. So obviously we're in the wrong impedance mode for this balanced ATU. So we drag and drop and basically swap and put the capacitor on the other side of the roller inductors. And now we'll change the roller inductor with the up-down arrows and we can see how that affects us. And you can see that that follows that plot around is following this arc around in the Smith chart. But it's still not getting us where we want to go. So now we will change the capacitor. We change the capacitor down here. Now we'll increase 
the inductor and look where it's going. It's going right in. Now we we're just above 50 ohms. You can see the SWR is 1.4 to 1. So now we'll de increase the capacitor and we'll decrease the inductors to bring it back. And we've gone a little bit too far with the capacitor. So we'll bring it down here and we're just about there. There's a 1.063 to 1 SWR. We won't spend any more time on that. Now the other thing that I wanted to point out is how does the feed line length change the impedance that we have to resolve. So now we're going to go from 50 feet, let's go down to 45. Now you notice as we decrease the feed line length, it's moving, it's shortening this plot right here, that part of the plot. So watch this, I, I'm going to put my mouse right there as a reference. Watch how we how that plot changes as we decrease the feed line. So there's just a touch over. Let me let me put uh, 45 feet exactly in. So there's 45 feet. So we've we've let, we've shortened the feed line by five feet. So now we're going to have to change the roller inductors to bring it back to 50 ohms. And we're pretty close. We could, we'll fine tune that a little bit. And there's a 1.003 to 1 SWR right there. And there are the values, the new values. It's a half a micro Henry for uh, the roller inductors and 255 picofarads for the capacitor. That's with 45 feet of open wire 600 line. So that gives you an idea of how the feed line can affect the impedance that we have to resolve. You can see that it is a big factor. Look how it moves that out. That's 50.21 feet. Look how much that has changed, how it goes. And if I keep increasing it, it'll just start coming around the circle again. You can see how it's gone around. So that is 112 feet of feed line. So you can see that 109 feet of feed line pretty well replicates the 55, so the 109 feet would be the next uh, length of feed line that would uh, come close to replicating the 45 feet that we had before. So I'm going to change the the tuner to uh, to get to that to our new uh, impedance match, and I'm getting close. And there we are, very close. 1.013 to 1. So now we're back at 308 picofarads this time and uh, 6 tenths of a micro Henry. So we can see that, that it re this feed line impedance uh, repeats itself as we go around in this circle, and that's all based on length. So now I'm going to reduce this, the feed line length again, and look how we can bring it on around, bring it around, and and look how we get it. There's there's the next point where it's almost identical to what we had before. We've not touched the the uh, tuning on the ATU, so the next length is down is 46 feet, and we come up with the uh, same impedance uh, that we need to resolve. So I'm going to increase this. We'll go around feed line length around once, a little over once, and we'll go around twice, a little bit too far, so we'll back it down. Somewhere right about there. Now we're at 172 feet, so 172 feet of feed line will give us almost an identical result. Not quite, but close. So we have to fine tune a little bit fine-tune the ATU a little bit because there's been a slight shift in the uh, feed line impedance presented and we're pretty close right there. So then we want to take this further. Let's go back to the length again and let's go around one more time. So we go around. I'm increasing the feed line length coming around and around and there we are again. 234 feet of feed line. So you can see that it 
it uh, repeats itself as we, uh, the same impedance as we increase the length and there are certain points where we can almost replicate the very first one which is at 45 feet. I hope you enjoyed the demonstration. This is a very powerful tool that saves a lot of cutting and trying and, and a lot of headaches. So I hope you enjoyed the uh, demonstration. This is Gary K7 EMF and I'm going to say seven threes.